Hi everyone, welcome to Mask Monday. I'm here for another week. I just had so much fun last time. I gave myself a challenge that I opened up one of my face story bags and I have seven masks in here. I did one every day for seven days. I drank extra water all week and my skin was so, so much better. I had so much fun, in fact, that after that, for the next Mask Monday, um, well, which was really last week, I did mask again every day. I used a combination of sheet mask and then every other day I switched off. This is my absolute, one of my favorites. So I used this Yensa, this pumpkin turmeric. It's a polishing mask. When you take this off, focus please, your skin just feels so soft, so hydrated. I got this in like my first Ipsy bag ever. And I was like, oh, it smells funny. Yeah, it, it feels funny. Uh, I'm not using it. And then I saw a couple of people that um, had done their Ipsy on baggings and, and um, they all were all raving about it. So I thought, okay, I'll give it a try. Oh my God, I love it. So every time I see this in one of the pop-up sales, I always get it. I have got three unopened one plus this one. I love this. It is if you get a chance to get this in your pop-up so you get it in your Ipsy bag, I hope you use it. It's a good one. I mean, you put it on and it exfoliates at the same time. You leave it on, you wash it off, and feel your skin. Just touch your skin after. You will be amazed. So anyway, I used that one. I have also used this one from Beekman this week. Kind of crappy looking, but it's a nice mud mask. Yeah, it feels really, really nice on. It's nice kind of gray lasts for a while this feels really nice too when you wash it off you just your skin just feels so hydrating plus you just kind of feel like it's drawing out some of the impurities without really damaging your skin pulling it off I use this this one also from Aceology this is a brightening treatment mask so this one worked really well good as well and then this clay mask which is another wash off mask and this one this one could have been boxy charm i've had this one a while too i didn't always like it because well i like sheet masks but i decided just i, I needed to do the full gamut of things i needed to pull things out of my pores i needed to just really take care of my skin it needed it so bad so yeah so i used a combination of different sheet masks and then these this week every other day all seven days again i did it again drank extra water it was so good so i'm opening up one of my other um face story mask and i get the one the seven lux so i get seven mask and then a surprise bonus item i I wrote it down last week but i forgot what it was i think it's like 19 dollars or 19.90 shipping is free i get it every month like i said um i used to just kind of give them away or I'd, in giveaways or i just send the whole bag to people but I, I think I really need, even though I'm getting all these extra ones, it's kind of a reminder, open it up, use them. So the extra this month is a spot patch. I think this is for acne. So I will more than likely put this in a giveaway for someone that maybe needs it. I mean, every now and then I get, I mean, I, I can't even call it a pimple. It's like a condominium arise on my face and all the bacteria all their family all their friends they move in they move in for months at a time i had one pimple on my face that i thought was a pimple i had it for about 25 years do you know it wasn't a pimple it was cancer yeah and it just stayed the same size on my face and i mean i had been to other doctors in like 25 years and no one ever said to me what's that on your face nancy so when i couldn't take the sciatica pain anymore and i finally made an appointment with my sciatica um i kind of crawled into the doctor's office and uh, she says yeah your sciatica is not your worst problem you need to take care of your face and i'm like yeah i know i'm ugly but i what am i supposed to do about it so she says you have cancer and i'm like what do you mean i have cancer and she says that uh what is that on your face nancy and i said oh it's it's an adult acne and she says no it's cancer nancy so yeah 300 stitches later and because it had grown for 25 years um 
the roots went behind my eye. It was like, it was everywhere. So I lost a lot of muscle, had to go be behind my eye. I could not be knocked out because I had no one to take care of Rick. So I had that surgery while I was awake. It was, it was, it smelled. I'm going to be honest with you. That was the worst part of it. It smelled. When they start cutting your skin and burning it, it smells. So take care of your skin, everyone. SPF. Use it. If you have a pimple on your face for 10 years, go get it checked. Don't be a Nancy. Okay. So, but if you do have maybe teenagers that need some spot checking, I would, I will send it to you or I can put it in a future giveaway. And these are the masks. And this, I don't know which month this was, but... So these are the seven masks in the face story. So I got this vitamin A one. It says velvet mask. So it says depleted and damaged skin. Yeah, and that's me. I've got this Terra Force. So I don't know if that's another one for acne prone, but I will use it. This red ginseng. I can't read what it says, and I still can't. It's uh. something needly I will use it I don't have to read it to know that I'm going to like it this cute one that says face mask brightening so maybe it's got like vitamin C or something in it I'm sorry for my skin and I am I'm very very sorry so yeah I'm gonna like using this one and then this last one is let me skin so these are the seven masks I'm going to use, and I'm probably going to do the same thing I did last week, except I'll be using these and mixing them up with these ones every other day. So I'm going to use a mask and use this, so it's going to go a little bit beyond a week, but this is what I'm doing for my mask Monday, and I will pop on one of the days this week. Hopefully I won't save it to the last day, and, uh, and what, whichever mask looks the best on me. That's the one I'm going to film. Yeah, because that's how I am. Yeah. So anyway, thanks again for joining me, and we will see you when I post uh, at the end of the week. Okay, love you guys. Take care. Have a happy Mask Monday. Have fun masking, and we will all chat again soon. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the ending of my Mask Monday week. Had so much fun again this week, just taking a day every day for myself and alternating between the sheet masks that were in the face story and then the other masks that I've used, like the, I used a clay mask, a mud mask, a peel, peeling mask, and the one I have on right now is one of my favorites. It's this Yensa pumpkin turmeric it's a polishing mask it's like exfoliating at the same time in a few minutes i'm going to go take the, and i don't know if you can see but it's nice and wrong side but it's nice and and gritty and you can just kind of rub it and feel it but i know in a few minutes i'm going to go wash it off first i'm going to get some warm water just kind of buff it in a little bit more get some more of that exfoliating power and um and then soak a nice face eraser, one of those washcloths and some nice warm water, and then just finish buffing it out the rest of the way and rinsing it off. And I know when I'm finished, I, I just love the feeling this leaves. My face just feels soft and it feels plump and it feels hydrated and just a nice healthy glow. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me for Face Mask Monday. I know there's a ton of ladies that do this, so I don't want to keep you guys. And again, just with that hashtag mask tassel, ma holy mackerel, hashtag Mask Monday ladies in your title. Anyone can do this. And then uh, with that hashtag, we can all find each other and support each other. So anyway, I hope you guys had a great Mask Monday and we will all chat again soon. Love you guys so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>